Hey, it's Arjun, CEO of Doula. In today's video, I'm gonna walk through everything you need to know about Doula Books. Doula Books allows you to take total control of your company's finances all in one place. And there are some really powerful features, tools, dashboards, and insights you can glean from using this product. I'm gonna walk through everything you need to know, and let's dive into the Doula dashboard so you can get comfortable with Doula Books. When you come to your Doula dashboard, you'll see on the left, Books and click this to access your Doula Books home. When you land on the Doula Books tab, you're gonna get at a glance a summary of your company's top line key metrics. On this page, you can see five key things at a glance. The first is profit and loss. The second is cash flow. The third is expenses. The fourth is income. And the fifth is invoices. The best part is for each of these views, you can get more granular and you can actually filter by time period. However, the summary tab is great, but sometimes you wanna double click and get a little deeper. So let's dive in and check out some of the other sub tabs. The first thing is for any of these high level views, if you want to double click and go deeper, you can simply click on the graphic and it'll take you to a detailed page. Here, you can actually see a bar graph or distribution of your profit and loss over time. For expenses, if you click on this graph, it'll take you to the expenses tab. For income, if you click on this graphic, it'll take you to the income overview. And for invoices, if you click on this graphic, it'll take you to the invoice center. With that in mind, let's actually head over to the invoice center and dive into everything invoices with Doula Books. The invoice center is incredibly powerful. At a glance, you can see all outstanding invoices and completed invoices. And I'm actually gonna show you how to interpret this data and actually how you can create a new invoice as well. The first thing is you can see on this chart how many invoices have been paid, how many have been unpaid but are not overdue, and how many are overdue. Furthermore, in the table view, you can get more granular and you can see more specific details on all outstanding invoices. One cool thing you can do is actually send an aging report. And what this lets you do is send an email capturing all outstanding invoices over a given time period. In this case, I'm deciding to send an aging report for all overdue invoices beyond 61 days, and I'd like to send it to myself. If there aren't any entries for this report, Doula Books will tell you. And if there are, it'll land right in your inbox so you can share it with your team. You can send an aging report for different time periods so that you can give your team and yourself full visibility into the time length for outstanding invoices. For each invoice, there's also a few things you can do in terms of taking action on the invoices. You can easily click and send a reminder so that the person or company with the outstanding invoice gets a little nudge in their inbox. You can also duplicate the invoice, add additional payments to the invoice, or share it with someone else. Also, if you need to print the invoice, you're able to do that too. I'll also show you how you can actually add a new invoice in Doula Books. First thing you're gonna do is click that add new invoice button. Once you're in here, you'll have to choose a couple pieces of information. The first is your business, the second is your client, as well as the amount and attaching some files. You can then add an email as well as a CC or a BCC so that you can send the invoice to additional people. Next up, it's time to add some items to the invoice. Type in the name of what you're adding, give it a description, and you can even add a tax percentage as well. Once you've added the items, you can also attach a file in case you need to reference anything when sending the invoice. Click the attach file button to do so and simply attach the upload. You can then add a personalized message so that the person on the other end knows what to expect. Last but not least, set the invoice date, set the terms for when it's due, and then set the frequency for the invoice. You can make them one-time, weekly, bi-monthly, monthly, or even yearly recurring invoices, truly automating your business. Click next, and you'll actually be able to see a full preview of the invoice that is about to go out. The coolest thing is, you can also choose to link Stripe to accept payments via bank account or credit card. Simply click on the toggle and link Stripe using Stripe Connect to open up this capability. Or you can accept cash or check, of course. And don't sweat, if you're not sure if this is ready to go, you can always save the invoice or save it without sending. But if you're good to go, hit that button and send the invoice. Once the invoice is out, you'll see it show up in your invoice center right at the bottom of the list. That's everything you need to know about invoices. Next up, let's go check out the Income Center. In the Income Center, you can see, that's right, your company's and business's entire income at a glance. The easiest way to use this part of the tool is to simply link additional accounts. That way, automatically, income transactions will be pulled in and displayed here. To link accounts, simply click the Link Accounts button. From here, you can then link any bank account from an external platform. Using a Plaid integration is how we support this. Let's say I'd like to link my Doula bank account with Doula Books and have transactions show up in the Income Center. 
Simply I click on Doula or search for my bank and integrate it using Plaid. Once you integrate the bank account, it'll show up in here. You can also manually add income transactions in case it doesn't show up in your bank account or it was a separate way that you received the income. To do this, click add income. From here, you can set the date, add a description, add an amount, clarify any additional information on how the income was generated, and also upload any files or receipts for future reference. Once you click add income and click add, you'll see it show up right away in your income report. Last but not least, let's check out the expense center. In the expense center, you can see, that's right, all of your company's expenses. And the easiest way to take advantage of this tool and feature is by linking your external bank accounts. This way, automatically, all of your transactions will show up here. However, if you don't link a bank account, that's okay. You can also manually add expenses, and I'll show you how. To add an expense, click on the Add Expense button. From here, similar to adding an income transaction, you'll have to specify who the expense is from, the amount, and you can also add some additional details as well as upload files for future reference. You can also determine the frequency of the expense, whether it's one time or recurring, so that you can truly automate your business's workflows. In the advanced categories, you can also determine some additional fields. What type of expense was this? Feel free to add and select that below. What type of expense category was this? Feel free to select that and add that below. You can even specify if this was a refund or not. Don't forget to add any receipts or files for future reference as well. You can also designate whether this was a business or personal expense. But remember, I always recommend to keep business separate from personal. So hopefully this is a business expense. If you forget to add any details such as the amount, you'll be prompted, so don't worry. Click save details and just like that, the expense will show up in the expense overview. That's a quick overview of Doula Books, including its powerful invoicing capabilities, powerful abilities to link multiple bank accounts, and the ability to at a glance, get control over your company's finances. Don't stress about managing the details of your finances. Instead, use a product and software like Doula Books to truly help you focus on what you do best while Doula handles the rest. Hope that was helpful and don't hesitate to reach out if you have any additional questions on Doula Books, Doula invoicing, and bookkeeping overall. Thanks a ton.